Hello, welcome to the Bag Hag Digest. Hello, beautiful bag lovers. Today I'm here to talk to you about my Louis Vuitton mini pochette, the most used luxury item in my collection by far. Since I got it two years ago, this has pretty much been with me every day. I even got rid of my wallet because I found that I could carry my cash in it no problem. So two years ago and I got it on the pre-loved market for about the equivalent of a hundred US dollars, Ichiman, so probably less than that actually, which is a great deal and I think most people probably won't be able to get it at that good a deal, especially in the good condition that this is in and is still in. After two years it still hasn't shown much wear. When I first got it I did polish it up quite a bit. Um, but the, um, the Vachetta is just looking honey golden. There's no damage to it. It's sticking up a little bit, just normal wear. Otherwise, it's just, as you can see, looking pretty darn good. It's a very simple um, item. I mean, I don't know why we owners of this item care about it so much. You know, I mean, there's, there's tons of other companies that make similar things and you could even go on the cheap with it but there's something that I can't put my finger on with this particular bag. I don't know if it's the chain. I used to think the chain for me would be good because I could take this guy off and attach it to any D-ring in any of my bags for extra security but in fact I never really do that. However, I do take it out of my bag sometimes and just carry it like this just for quick dips into stores and whatnot, not for for days out or anything. This is, you know, I, I, I could use it as a purse, but I don't really. I usually would use like a walk or something else for that, um, for something really small. But it just sits in all my bags quite nice. Now, though I just use it as a pochette, you can use it for so many things. Um, if you do take this off, you can tie it back on itself over here and use it as, um, you know, extra security as a clutch. Kind of matches my bracelet too, so there's that very secure. Um, you can you can attach it, this chain, to a longer bag to, or a longer chain or strap that goes around to where it is a, a shoulder a bag or a crossbody or you could um, tuck this chain back inside if you like and not have it at all and use instead just use these things to tie to something else. It's versatile. I know some people who even use it as like a bum bag or fanny pack if you will and tie it around um, their waist with a belt. I, I don't actually wear belts at all. I'm a tunic type of person so I, I would never wear it that way but why not? The inside of the item has not gotten dirty. The only issue I've had is with my perfume which has spilled and melted plastics in here but it hasn't damaged my bag as of yet. It's a pretty resilient little item and I love it and I do recommend it. Um, definitely recommend getting it uh, on the pre-loved market. Just check that it's in good condition before you get it. I don't, I don't think you'll regret this purchase. I certainly don't. So let's check what I have in here so you can see how I use it. Everybody uses this, this thing differently. For me it's definitely a catch-all and you'll see lots of goodies. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's just go through the bag and see what's in today. Mostly it's the same stuff. But first we have a giant wad of Japanese cash, quite a lot actually. Usually don't carry that much. But Japan's a cash-based economy so I always make sure I have um, cash with me. Uh, not always essential because the banks are open. Uh, actually, no, they're not. I tend to use uh, the cash corner uh, machines that are in the convenience stores, which are open 24-7 and are pretty ubiquitous. Next, my favorite lipstick from MAC. Um, this is Odyssey. I've gone through three tubes of this. Uh, I just love the shade, it's a frosty thing. It's a bit, um, it's melted on the side here because of the perfume which is located somewhere in there. If you're gonna get perfume on, in your bag, I recommend you get a case that you're certain is not gonna leak. Um, then I got a, a cream here, face cream. This is, um, I don't know if you can see it there. Josie Moran, I got it as a sample somewhere. It's for your face, but what the hell, I use it as a hand cream because I really like the size. And then we have a pill box. You cannot go anywhere without these guys. I've got Advil, Tylenol, Aspirin. Not just for me, but just in case uh, someone I'm with might need some pain relief. Has come in handy on multiple occasions. Cute little box too. 
Uh, I got a couple of my personal business cards that come in handy. Actually, I've got more. I don't know why there's only two there. My key fob, gotta have this, and I don't like using um, one of those key holder things. They just get in the way. This is bulky, so I keep it permanently in here because this does go wherever I go, so why not? We have a comb. I don't have much hair, this is all I need. And a little container. This is another pill box, but I use it for, believe it or not, this is um, not aspartame, that's not good for you. Stevia, stevia pills for the cafe and my coffee. Sweeten things up without the sugar. It's got an aftertaste, but uh, it's all natural, so I like it. And here's the perfume I was talking about. This is not the best bottle. Um, what is this one? Ah, Amouage Memoir, very strong, which is why I like it. Uh, very potent if I need to freshen up uh, on the road. This, um, what's a good one? I think Travelo is one that makes a really good brand of perfume decants or decanters, or atomizers, I should say. Um, this is just uh, probably from the 100 yen store, to be honest. Okay, then there's a random uh, covered um, Q-tip. This is to clean my teeth to get the tartar off. Uh, actually, that's come in, hand, come in handy a lot. Not just for my teeth, I don't know, for other random things too, as long as I keep it clean. What's the, what's it say? It's Traveler, I must have got it from a travel kit or something. Oops. Um, then another tooth uh, device here, which is kept nice and clean to, um, I don't bring a toothbrush with me wherever I go, but if I'm going out for lunch, it's nice to be able to clean your teeth in between. So there you go. Another one of these. Okay, then I have my Inkan. This is um, necessary in a lot of Asian cultures. I have my uh, Japanese kanji name there and I stamp it. You need it for banking, so it's the banking or anything official. It's the equivalent of um, a signature, really. And I have some, I gotta rewrap this because it's falling apart, but this is just um, Band-Aid. No, it's not Band-Aids actually. You know when you get like um, Compete, it, you get blisters on the edges of your, on your uh, on your heels and whatnot. This, these are lifesavers. Um, really appreciate having these with me when I have them. A little bit dirty. I guess I should clean these up a bit. Ooh, they look kind of gross actually. Might have to redo them all together. Uh, yeah, they're sticking to each other. Okay, so there's that. I'll clean that up. And finally, at the moment anyway, I have a pen. A tiny pen which comes in handy, definitely. I always know I have this if I don't have another, worse, another one somewhere else in my bag. And inside, this is what it looks like. It's in pretty good condition, a little bit dirty, but when is this one from? Uh, 2005. Okay, I have stuffed everything back into my pochette uh, and I've rewrapped these um, little heel protector devices by Compete. Put those in and I've realized that I have a little more space so I'm gonna append this container and I'm gonna add in some band-aids and also a giant band-aid. I always cut myself. It's a good idea, idea to have these with me. I'm gonna add a little uh, atomizer for my vape stick. Doesn't take up too much room. I'm thinking I might even add this little guy. This is um, a sewing kit. I could take it out of the box even, but I think it's useful to keep it protected in this old device. I don't know, maybe that's a bit um, just in case, Sugiru, I'm thinking too much of emergency situations. I'll put it in and see how I feel about it. There we go. And also this guy, these are really popular um, in Asia and this one is actually from, um, I think it's from Germany. Well, it's in English, so maybe not. It's an inhaler, really popular in Thailand. If you're congested, it's got like menthol or camphor or something and you just inhale in your nose and feels good, cleans things up. So we'll put that in there. Maybe it's getting a bit too stuffed. Once I put the cash in, it might feel too stuffed. Let's see if it closes. Yeah, that's a bit too much, eh? I'm gonna get rid of that sewing kit. I'm never gonna use it, let's face it. When I travel, I might though, but I wouldn't put it in here, perhaps. Okay, so the cash is in there. There we go, much better. Okay, 
Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That was my wear and tear report on the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Bag hag, signing out.